Namaste. My name is JVM Rishigota from Department of Journalism. Today's topic is Cultural Communication. Cultural Relativism is the view that cultures are merely different, not deficient, and each culture's norms and practices should be assessed only from the perspective of the culture itself, not by standards impressed by another culture. It is the idea that one cannot make judgments about a culture just because they are not part of one's own. Outsiders should be able to see the cultural from a natural perspective and not judge the culture before understanding it. Each culture should be viewed with respect and as an equal because no one culture is better than any other. They should be allowed to practice their own beliefs. What a culture's beliefs to be true and values. A shared view about what is right. Cultural relativism emphasized that ethnocentrism, which is the belief that one's culture is superior to everyone else, should not be forced upon cultures and cultures should remain unprejudiced, unprejudiced toward each other. Cultural relativism is the moral and ethical way to look at different cultures. Overview Intercultural communication draws on the fact that all humans subconsciously reflect their cultural backgrounds in day-to-day communication. Culture does not just lie in the way one eats or dresses, but in the manner in which people present themselves as an entity to the outside world. Language is a huge proponent of communication as well as a large perspective, a large representation of one's cultural background. Cultural communication often stems from different and conflicting styles of speech and messages. A perfectly normal intonation pattern for a native German speaker may seem angry and aggressive to a foreign listener. Connotations of words as well as meaning of slang phrases vary greatly across cultural lines and a lack of tolerance and understanding of this fact often results in misinterpretations, non-verbal communication. Greatly varies across cultural lines. One must take the time to study different cultures so as to fully understand messages being transmitted.
there are many aspects of non-verbal communication such as gesture, facial expression and interpersonal personal space that affect the way a message is construed. High and low power distance Power distance is the degree of equality or inequality between people in a particular society. The lower and power distance of a country, the more dominant individuality and individuality, individual rights are. When the power distance is low, society does not emphasize people's status, power or wealth. In other words, individualistic cultures have low power distance and collectivist culture have high power distance. Individualism Collectivism The me we dimension. The individualism, collectivism dimension is thought to be the most important of all value dimensions that distinguish cultures. The individualist culture has been consciousness. Individuals are loosely linked to each other but largely independent of group identification emphasis is placed on the self they are motivated by their own preferences needs and goals and personal achievement and initiative are stressed The, collect the collectivist culture has a we consciousness. Individuals are closely linked to one or more groups. Commitment to these valued groups is a primary goal of collectivists and they tend to look to the goals and successes of the group rather than to the individuals. Words such as loyalty, responsibility and community permit collectivist culture, cultural conversations. Examples of collectivist societies are many Asian, African and South American cultures. Thank you.